So in this episode, we're going to be rebuilding these rear coilovers, the front coilovers. We're going to be fitting them to the car, along with mocking up this big Brembo brake setup. And we're also going to be totally overhauling the rear suspension. If you like these videos, make sure to subscribe. Right, so welcome back to the channel. So on this episode, we're going to be getting on with this OPC Red Astra GSI. If anyone knows the car, it's the OG car, it's the car that I pretty much started the channel for. Uh, and it's time to get this thing on the road. So uh, it's had a lot of uh, sitting around while I've been having to get on with other projects, as you've seen. So I'm just making some time for this now. It's had a few bits robbed off it. You can see the suspension's been robbed off it, uh, also the brakes. But I've got upgrades for them, which I'm going to show you in this episode. Uh, so it's time to get this car running and on the road. Obviously. Once it's all done, completed, everything's running, and it's on the road, it's going to get a full respray. So uh, it isn't the greatest paintwork on it at the minute, um, but the paintwork is obviously the last thing to do. So mechanically now we're going to get this thing running, going to get this thing driving, and uh, I managed to make a little bit of time for it. Uh, and that's what we're going to get on, be getting on with. So if you haven't seen the, the whole progress of this car, it's had a massive, massive overhaul. And you can see everything underneath is brand new. So the underneath of this car is completely finished and never has to be touched thank god because it was a lot a lot of work so the car's just pretty much been sitting under a sheet all year hasn't been touched at all uh you can see it just needs a wipe over it's pretty dusty dirty um and it's just going to get better as it goes if the if i use this car um it would actually just get better and better it's where i haven't been touching it uh, everything's brand new suspension bushes the whole lot go back and watch the uh, episodes of this being built you will like it if you're into these type of cars whole engine bay is complete car starts up on the button which i'll show you in a second um, so basically it's just about the last push really to get this thing on the road get it running uh, not going to take long at all you know so i'll just make a little bit of time for it now and then we get this thing painted so enjoy the episode right so on the front we're going for the coilovers so we're going to go for these uh adjustable coilovers because i want to be able to adjust the height the dampening on this car and make it ride nice i don't want it to be a uh, stiff ride so we've obviously got a dampening adjuster on the top here i'm not going to go through what uh, coilovers these are because the the make of coilover although these ones are actually good uh, i'm not that happy with the actual make of them in the past with previous uh, shocks and that i've had it for them so uh, i've had, i've had these ones rebuilt uh, not that long ago new seals and everything put on them um and they was obviously painted black they're normally like a zinc plate in color um the reason i paint them black uh with like a, a epoxy primer underneath is because once you've put these on the car for like a week they look like they've been pulled out the atlantic ocean um so just painting them black is just going to stop that corrosion in the future so got a 450 pound front springs on there probably a little bit too stiff so might drop them down in the future maybe 375 pound just a little bit soft on the front uh upright bearings on the top uh we've got anodalized aluminium mounts as well and also brand new top mounts uh for the shocks as well so we've got the whole lot so we're going to get to building these up now going to leave the bump stops in it as well just so that if it gets too low you can see they're shortened ones um that i've actually cut the tops off so they can bottom out a little bit better but um i don't know what the height adjustment is going to be on this car because the car that i took these off was a lot lighter than this and i don't know these are at the absolute maximum lows at the minute and i'm not sure if i'm going to have to raise that up because i don't know how low the car is going to be we're going to put them on and then we'll mess around with the height when it's on
front coilover is all built up ready to go on so we'll adjust the ride height we'll adjust the dampening when you're on the car also we we'll do up this top nut properly when it's on the car as well it's under load so about time we get these on uh, and then we can worry about the brakes uh, first off we obviously got to get the rears on and i'm going to show you the rears now so i'm going to go for coilovers on the rear of this car as well just for the simple fact it's a cleaner look so you can see obviously we're just going to have a spring and coil shock set up um, instead of a spring and shock setup that's separately independent. So um, on the rear of these, they don't normally run coilovers. I'm going to run this car. You can see it's also adjustable damping as well, just like the front. These are really a track spec coilover setup, but it'd be nice to get this car on pretty much one of the softest settings and be able to drive this on the road and nice and comfortably. So we're going to get these ones on too now. Um, you can see these ones have been painted black as well. They've got hard bushes in there, so they're a nice setup for this car. Right, so the rear shocks are ready to go on as well now. You can see they're looking good. Um, I have got helper springs as well for these if I do need them, um, but I'm not sure that I will because I've got loads of adjustment in here. They look better without them. And also, you know, these don't really do nothing. They've got no spring weight to them at all. And you can see here, they literally just compress into like a solid sort of bump. And I don't really want that. And they didn't rattle about on the last car I had them on. So probably just gonna leave them without them retainers on it. So we're going to get these on the car as well now, get that rear end cleaned right up. So I think these coilovers look a lot better in the way I've done them. Obviously a gloss black body with a satin black spring. Um, they obviously come in this zinc plate in from the factory and it just corrodes straight away. So if you do get them and you get them in the zinc plate in, um, either lacquer them first with like a satin lacquer or just get them powder coated straight away and they won't rot. Um, and just give them some more protection because they will rot after maybe six months or so and they're going to look really really bad so you can see on these coilovers they've got an elongated top bolt hole obviously the bottom bolt hole just fixes with a standard bolt and the top one allows for tons of camber adjustment so you can see here got plenty of adjustment and we adjust that with these camber bolts so you can see there's an eccentric washer on there that's welded on and then also there's an eccentric washer that goes on the other end and then actually on the shock itself is like a um, bit of metal that you put the eccentric washer up and as you turn it you can see you can move the camber in and out so we're going to run these camber bolts on the top so we can run a nice bit of camber obviously we're going to have to run spacers for the big brakes so we'll be able to tilt that tire in because we're going to have to run spacers and i don't want no scrubbing on the arches so this is how you know that everything's brand new on the car obviously as you've seen everything is brand new um this actual hub is holding itself up without any sort of shock i literally just pulled it up and it's just stuck there like that so it's time to get this shock on process right now I've test fitting these brakes so obviously I've got Brembo's um, I'm just test fitting them before I paint them all up because I've got to put spacers on these see these are VXR discs um, and these are the Brembo's off the Renault R26 um, so we're just gonna get to fitting these spacers on so I can see if the snowflakes actually clear the side of here I've got some 10 mil spacers I think 10 mil is just enough to get these to clear and obviously I didn't want to paint these up and chip them up without uh, knowing how big the spacers need to be so got them on uh, gonna get a snowflake on there now but I think you agree they're gonna suit the car really well like that red on red theme and especially with a fresh look so go nicely with the coilovers so now it's time to get this rear strip down you see obviously it hasn't been touched in months and months and months obviously dusty and everything um, this is shock and spring setup was only temporary so now that's gonna come off gonna replace it with a coilover spring and shock so we don't need any of this don't need the spring here don't need the shock we can just replace it with one single unit strip all this lot off give everything clean up because obviously the disc has just been sitting around wipe everything over because it's very dusty get this thing cleaned up
Oh, there you go. The rear is completely overhauled now. So what do you think of that? So the coilover setup makes it look 10 times cleaner. No springs, no shocks, none of that rubbers, nothing like that. You can see I've cleaned everything up, wiped everything over because obviously it got really dusty underneath the, um, the cover and everything just gets dirty and dusty and needs a little clean after a while. So when, uh, when I do take this to a show or something, I will give it a proper clean underneath. So what do you think of that? Drop a comment in the comment section if you think that's clean enough. If not, let me know what you think I can do to make it even cleaner because I want to go to next levels. And if you think I can make it cleaner, I'd like to see your criticism. So um, I would like to do things like uh, zinc plate these bolts and uh, maybe change stuff to stainless. And just I'm just going to go over everything uh, as I'm building the car and as I'm like driving it and progressing with it. Because when it's finished, as everyone knows, projects are not finished. Once they're finished, that's just when they're starting. So um, a project like this never ends and probably a car that I will keep for a long time. So if you like this uh, build, let me know in the comment section. So seeing as this one ain't been started up for a long time, I thought I'd give it a quick start up, make sure everything's good. Just primed up the system, primed up all the oil and everything. Just want to get some petrol because it was run out of petrol. Uh, last time I tried starting it up, it wouldn't start because it had no fuel in it. So let's get this thing started, get it warmed up. It ain't been started up in about six months now. So um, it'd be nice to just get it running, get the oil circulating around the system. Right guys, so that's the end of this episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm trying to get more regular videos up, even if I ain't doing as much detail because it takes me two weeks, three weeks. I've got so much to do at the minute. I've got cars everywhere, projects everywhere. Um, next episode, probably gonna get these anti-roll bars fitted. So these are white line anti-roll bars. Definitely gonna fit this rear one. I've got a couple of spare rear ones. So I'm gonna clean this one up uh, and make it look really tidy. I know it looks clean already, but I've probably got some lacquer on it, just some protection. And this is the front one. They're actually hard to get hold of these front ones and they do help massively, but I'm not really sure I need it on this car. Um, it's not gonna be getting chucked around the track. So these two, uh, this one's as reliable as anything, you know, 350 horsepower. This one's nearly ready to hit the road. Just got a few more things to button up on this. So I hope you've been enjoying the project. So I've got uh, obviously the RS to come in. Uh, I've got the Mark 1 Escort come in and some other little gems as well going to be coming up soon. So if you enjoyed the episode, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, like the episode. Thanks for watching, guys. So here's a sneak peek for everyone that's stuck to the end of the video. I really appreciate you. This is the Mark 1 RS2000 Cosworth YB engine I'm going to do in a full episode on in the future.